Marcus, you're the guy who designed this thing, right? Yes. Tell me about it. What is this? Well, this is the Trifecta made by Landex Motors. It is a three-wheel electric auto cycle. Now, but the one unique thing about it, if we come around here to the back, is that it has an in-wheel hub motor. <laughs> so that's the only part. That's the only moving part within the vehicle. It's all within the wheel. And then we have the battery located underneath. And, you know, every six, uh, like the computers and stuff under the hood. And like I said, it's super simple. Um, even with the design, you can see it's super simple and it's, you know, very modern. Originally, it started off with a company called Hydra. They did some of the initial work um, and then they brought me on internally and I completed the rest of the car. This is really cool. So this is a prototype. It's we a can prototype. see there's a 3D printing parts. You, you can see some of the 3D printing, but I mean, it, this looks fairly well developed. Oh I mean, yeah, this the, is like, the, I would say 90% production. Yeah, I mean, other than the panels being, you know, uh, fabricated like prototype parts, this is a 90% production intent. All the engineering within the vehicle is 100%, it's fully drivable. Um, I don't remember all the specs because I'm a designer, an <laughs> engineer I could tell you, but it's fast. I've driven it myself. Uh, it's very quiet. It makes that little EV sound when it drives. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's the future. So this must have been pretty cool working with an in-hub motor. I mean, yes. we comes, don't see very many of them. Yep, and that allows for a more tighter package, right? Because tradi traditionally, you'd have to have another motor somewhere else. If you have more motors in the front or even like a traditional ICE vehicle with a transmission, with this, is just it's all within the wheel. The only complicated part about it, in my opinion, is um, the three-phase cable that goes to the battery. Uh, but besides that, it's it's very simple. And in-wheel motors, I think, will be the future because it's pretty futuristic. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it, it's, it simplifies everything so much yeah. that way. So what, what's your background? What got you into design? Uh, my parents used to work at Truck and Bus in Flint where they make the Silverados, and they brought me there for a bringing child to work day. I was, like, fascinated. I'm like, I want to be a car builder. My mom's like, no, you're not going to be a car builder. I'm like, no, I'm going to be a car builder. So I used to draw out the process of cars being built. And my stepdad was upset. He's like, you're using up all the paper, using up all the paper. So I'm like, okay, I just started drawing the car because I was using like 10, 20, 30 sheets of paper. I just started drawing the car. I'm um, like eighth grade, I found out that it was a job. And it was an article called How to Become a Car Designer. And they said that College for Creative Studies was one of the best schools to go to. It's in Michigan, I'm in Michigan. Uh, so I went to College for Creative Studies uh, in Transportation Design. This and is great. So did you ever think when you were at CCS that you'd be designing a vehicle like this one? Not like this, no. A startup is a lot different than a traditional OEM because there's huge teams. So I never, no, I've never imagined like me being the one having to do everything. I, I mean, I went from everything from, again, like I said, there was another company who did a lot of the initial work, uh, but going into engineering it, I went through, I, I modeled all the panels and alias, um, I designed it, and then also we had a company called Prefix. Um, they assembled the vehicle and I you know, oversaw that, making sure every radius, everything is right. It's still a, it's still a prototype, uh, but the production intent, you know, with all the real fasteners and everything on it, have you know, much more better alignment. So when do you think this might go into production? I Hopefully, 2026, 2027. Okay. Yeah. And price? Somewhere around 30,000. Ooh, very yeah. But again, I'm not the sales guy, I'm just a designer. Yeah, you're so. just a... <laughs> Marcus, thanks so much. Thank you. The automotive industry continues to evolve, and so do the opportunities to define it. Borg Warner, one of the world's most admired companies, gets its partners where they need to go. Let's do something big, together.